Uh-uh-uh. Excuse me, miss. Is that shoulders I see? You need to go to the AP office now. What do you mean? There's a new dress code. AP, now. No PCDs. Get the sign and turn in by tomorrow. Hey, Mom, can you sign these for me really quick? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Centennial, this is your favorite host, Cami G, back at it again. New year, new season. Welcome to season 10 of The Loft. Hey Centennial Knights, welcome back to a great school year ahead. I'm Dr. Blackwell, I'm your proud principal, and I am excited for an incredible year in the Centennial United community. Couple of things as we start a great year ahead. Good to see you say hi in the hallway, and do your part. Centennial is an incredible place with opportunities for everybody. So stay focused this year on what matters. Put your effort toward your work and your outcomes. Take advantage of these incredible opportunities. Support your peers out on the field and out in competitions, and enjoy the whole experience that Centennial has to offer. Can't wait to see you in classrooms doing awesome things, out on the fields or in competition doing the amazing work that our staff is supporting you in doing. Let us know how we can help you have a great year ahead. And remember here at Centennial, our best days are ahead. Go Knights! Campbell, senior, and I'm a captain for the football team. Hi, my name is Caleb Vargas. I'm a captain at Centennial High School. Oh, I'm Nate Black. I play receiver in DB, and I'm a captain. Our weaknesses, I really don't think we have any weaknesses. I don't think we got no weaknesses. This is the best team I've probably been on in four years. We've been working since basically season ended last year, so uh, like end of November last year. We've just been grinding, having training camp all day from 8 to 6 every morning. We haven't stopped since last year. Everybody's starting to understand the game more knowing their positions, what they're supposed to do, their assignments. You know, our like foundations are discipline, effort, and trust, so we kind of rely on those. We try to stay disciplined in what we do. We trust our teammates, trust our coaches. We try to give effort in all that we do. We're a very strong team. We're well bonded. We've been doing more team bonding stuff, become more of a family to work together. We got a good O-line this year, really good running backs. Receivers have been good this year, and our defense is really solid. Offensive line looks big, bigger than last year. We've made a lot of strides since last season. A lot of seniors coming back. We have a lot of winnable games on the schedule. We just gotta go out and execute. We're looking for a big season. Hopefully, we can win region, make it far in the uh, state playoffs this year. And hopefully, we can put on a show for y'all. What I need is for everybody to show up to the games, be supportive, and just be there for us. More energy, more student sections, and that would be it. When's our game? When is it? And what's, what's the day of our game? August 16th. Okay. August 16th at the Fortress. Be there Friday, Riverwood. Show out, be loud. Be loud, go nice. We're gonna get it win. Hey Centennial. It's going to be a great year. Welcome to your back to school boot camp. Rule number one, walk fast in the hallways. No one wants to be behind a slow walker. Three, two, one, go! Rule number two, be prepared with all materials ready for class. 41, 42, 43, 44, 97, 98, 99, 100! Rule number three, absolutely no phones in the classroom. Point blank, period. Rule number four, no leaving during the first or last 10 minutes of class. You're in the last 10 minutes. Give me 10 laps. Go, 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 go. Rule number five, 
Show respect to your teachers, students, and all Centennial staff. Oh my gosh, so like senior year. We have Laptops! Sir, yes, sir! Pencils! Sir, yes, sir! Paperclips! Sir, yes, sir! That's all the rules we have for you. Thanks for attending Back to School Boot Camp. See, See you, you in, in the halls. Welcome back to your first weekly update of season 10. I'm Kay. And I'm Kay. Are you excited to be back? I know I am. Of Jay? No. uh Due to the new PCD policies, personal cellular devices, restrictions on having your PCD out are tightening up. At least I got listen to my music. Um, nope. Also due to the PCD policies, you are not allowed to have both ears covered by earbuds or headphones. One ear in, one ear out. Ugh. Didn't this happen at Paris in the Olympics? Moving on, my queen, Simone Biles, has been eating up the competition in Paris. She's won three gold medals and one silver medal. What team will say? Well, don't forget about Rebecca now. She's been giving her a good run for her money. Rebecca who? Rebecca who? Are you, are you kidding me? How do you not know who Rebecca is? Speaking of Paris, there's been a lot of controversy around the swimmers swimming in the Sinai. Many people claim the Sinai is filled with human feces and too dirty to be swimming, even though the Paris officials spent up to 1.5 billion dollars to clean it up. Wow. Well, either way, they sucked it up and had an amazing performance. And it was a historic moment as the CN hasn't been swimming in about a hundred years. Not as historic as the first episode of season 10. <laughs> Let's go, people. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, next week, we will not be your host and some new people will be taking over. Well, that's all for this week's update. Thank you and good morning. What are you most looking forward to during the school year? Obviously the loft, duh. Sienna, blue looks really good on you. And Parker, your nose ring is really awesome. My name is Mr. Herring. I'm teaching AVTF1 and one class of AVTF2 with Mr. Beekner. What got me interested in film was I was back in 10th grade. I went to Alfreda High School. And this was back in like 2015, 16. And I came up, I was a big superhero fan. So I came up with this idea for this series of movies. And I was like, you know, I want to try this out. I got a camera. Went to DC that spring break with my family and started making videos and eventually got into the program there. And it just kind of evolved. So, and now I'm here. I'm most looking forward this year to just being able to experience Centennial. I've only heard of it by word of mouth. Um, I've always heard good things and I'm excited to share my passion with the students. The past couple of days I've told everybody that I hope that the passion I have is shared by you because I think that videography and filmmaking is the best, one of the best, if not the best, art forms we have today because of what you can do with it. So I want to be able to share that and bring that out of people. I am, however, super nervous of how people will perceive me because I am pretty young. I only have some experience, but hopefully my students and I can connect well. I'm hoping that works. My biggest inspiration would have to be Steven Spielberg on the set of Jaws back in 1974. He kind of got, that whole story got me into filmmaking just because of how he kept pushing through. They had to rewrite that script every night. 
you know, and that shark wasn't working in one day over the radio. The shark is still working. The shark is still working. And that that has pushed me through more than anything at this point. I, I'm getting, a, I have a tattoo person, getting a tattoo of it on my arm. <laughs> and that is, yeah, it's what inspired me is how you just kept going. Put on a shirt, you can't wear that. Take your glasses off, you can't wear that. Sir, only one ear. Come on, you can't wear that. That's a lot better. Go to class. Hello, I'm Lennon Braun. I'm Matthew Bronit, and welcome back to this year's 2024-2025 CSPN. Exciting year for Centennial Sports as we have moved from 5A to 4A with a whole new region. Teams in the region will be Centennial, Cambridge, Kell, Westminster, and Blessed Trinity. The softball season is underway as they swept Johns Creek in two games during the past weekend. They fell short in two losses this week on Tuesday and Wednesday as they look to bounce back this next week on the road Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Now down to the baseball field for some news about a former Centennial athlete who is excelling in the majors. Centennial alumni Jonathan Cannon made his 12th career Major League start Tuesday night against the Oakland Athletics. He pitched six innings, allowing one run and striking out five, lowering his season ERA to a 3.91. The 5-1 victory ended the White Sox historic 21-game losing streak. It's Friday night lights time, so let's head down to the football field to hear about our first game of the season. Your Centennial Knights football team has their first home game next Friday, August 16th, against Riverwood. Seniors, you're wearing togas, and the rest is blackout. That's all for CSBN this week. Signing off, Stephen A. Smith. What if we dap up as we did it? Hey, look, it's Beekner. Okay, you ready? He's got great, great hair. He does have great hair. <laughs> this needs to go in. All right. What if he buzzed it? No. No, nah, we got to stay focused. I'm going to kill all of you. The softball team is... Is it going? Yeah. It's still going. The softball season is... Was... All right. The softball season... I can't. I can't do it. Say it to me. Say it to me. Say it to me. Say it to me. Nah, I got it right here. The softball season. No, you I, don't got it. I, I can't. Can't. We're fine, bro. Just you. You can, You know that says Tuesday. You've read it eight times. Should I just say my line? Wait, is the camera going? Yeah. Do you just want me to say my line in the meantime? No, I'll get it. The softball season. All right, I'm saying my line. Yeah. As they look to bounce back. Ooh, that was almost good though. Next week on the road, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Talk to him, Unc. <laughs> and that's it for this week's Centennial. Congratulations to making it through the first week. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next week. Go Knights!